Jalen Hogue was found murdered on Monday, May 28th, approximately 9.30 a.m. The incident took place in the 5700 block of Mansfield between Midland and Pilgrim Street on Detroit's west side. According to the family, a friend returned from a run to the store and found Jalen uh, dead in his bed. 911 was called and the family was notified. Jalen was buried days later on what would have been his 19th birthday. Robbed is my family of a life that never even got to spread his wings and show us his capabilities. I try to be strong. But knowing this person is walking around, smiling, living their day-to-day -day life with no regard to the life of my son, it's unfair. No one knows the pain that you feel when someone is taken away from you unexpectedly and you're hoping and wishing that you get to see this person again and you don't. You wake up every morning, have to remember that they're not here anymore. If you know who it is, if you did it, if you have any ounce of compassion or any ounce of faith, please speak up. I knew he was 18, soon to be 19, but when I saw the face I saw was a four-year-old little boy running around with the biggest smile ever. And that's what I'm gonna miss the most, his smile and his laughter. We were robbed of Jalen's life, his love, and his laughter. And as George just said, we would like to have some justice for him. I wake up every day thinking of Jalen. He would have turned 19 on his birthday, but instead of us celebrating his birthday, we mourned the loss of him. We buried him on his birthday. It's, it's unfair, and I just want justice. I want the person or people who did this to go to jail. I want to see them rot in jail for the rest of their lives. I want them to feel the pain I feel every single day when I wake up not knowing my son is not here. If you have any information regarding this murder, we are asking that you please Help this family by making an anonymous call to Crime Stoppers at 1-800-SPEAK-UP. You may also visit our website at 1-800-SPEAK-UP.ORG. And remember, your identity will always remain 100% anonymous.